All right, Triple X back with one more. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm here today to show you the finished version of the cab. So, as you guys can see, the control panel has been finished, and man, is it badass. You can see how it has like all of the characters side by side on it. The artwork is insane, man. So, I really, really, really like it. That's a side view of the cab. I mean, this cabinet can't be beat, man. It's a bad machine. All right, there's the graphics card, the PC, and the Unix being powered up with the PC showing. All right, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about the graphics card and some upgrades I decided to do to the system. Uh, his base specs um, are generally an i5 processor. 8 gigs of RAM and a GT 1030. Those are supposed to be the base specs. It was a little confusion over that, but we got that straight. So I decided to do a few upgrades to the cab. Um, I have upgraded to a Ryzen 16 core processor. I've upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM and a GT 1060 graphics card. So that's going to give me a whole lot of firepower to pretty much emulate anything. So that should do great with current generation um, PC games that are out that are out on the PS4 and PS5 but the PC versions of those games are included like Red Dead Redemption, Street Fighter 5 like those games all those games should be played at extremely high settings or max with these specs so I'm really really happy about that um, if you decide to order one of these you may want to consider upgrading it's going to be more money uh, that's part of the game, but I would recommend. Oh, yeah, I upgraded the power supply too, obviously. Uh, go with the bigger graphics card, you're going to need a beefier power supply. So, you will need a bigger case too, as the systems he generally includes with these are going to be smaller, slimline cases. So, it's going to be some upgrades needed if you want to take it to the next level this system with with the GT 1030 is a really good system and you be able to emulate a lot of things but I had in my previous hyperspin system I had a GT 1050 with 16 gigs of RAM with an i5 and it did really well However, there was some games that were really demanding, like Tekken Cross Street Fighter, uh, F-Zero GX, and that was an older GameCube game, but that game was just really, really demanding. And as smooth as that game ran, it still had hiccups here and there. So you're going to run in, and, and there's thousands of games, like this system's going to have over 70,000 games. You're going to run into something on some platform if you stick with the stock bill that comes with this that won't run a hundred percent like if you really serious about putting together a system that's gonna emulate everything top to bottom uh, you're gonna have to go with a bigger graphics card It's like pretty much the heart and soul of the whole system you know it's gonna have the biggest effect bar none on a performance like the processor is important the ram is definitely important but that graphics card is is a deal breaker 
for these machines and and like I said the included the normally included 1030 is a pretty good car it's a slight step down from the 1050 I used to have and um, I didn't want to risk it because it's some games that I haven't played in a while like F-Zero GX that man I'm really itching to play so I want to play all of that stuff how it's supposed to be played and really enjoy it so again if you're interested in getting one of these predator caps you might want to consider adding some upgrades um, also keep in mind the graphic cards are just in the industry period at all stores are really 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 hard to find at all retailers there's a big drought of graphics card he actually happened to have this one around unopened so we we're able to make a deal but um, if you really consider ordering one of these cabs you might want to and you have a graphics card in mind you might want to consider looking around seeing if you can find something you're interested in and then maybe shipping shipping it to him before he starts your bill or before your bills done because you know if you're just waiting around to get this car you know hey you may not be able to get it in time and it may delay your cab a week or two trying to get one or even longer so graphic cars are really really in short supply right now I was at Micro Center they had literally had one car in the store and it wasn't even a real gaming car pretty much anything we're gonna I'm gonna have to make another uh, video because this one's this was just supposed to show off the cabinet and I'm ranting about graphics cards but graphic cards are getting are really hard to find right now gaming graphic cards pretty much start at the GT 1030 anything below that like the 710 the 730 those aren't really that big of a step up over integrated graphics to be honest even overclocked the 730 is like nothing really to write home about you need at least a 1030 to really do a good job emulating these games and playing some of the modern games like so and really it's be wise to step up over that and go for a 1050 or 1060 or really go all out you know it depends on how much you want to spend but again i'm gonna make another video about that but anyway, hey, 3X to the Lex out, and I'm going to get you on the next one. Peace.